Hi everyone, it's Philip at NYC Music Services and Scoring Notes, back with another tutorial. This one's about using JW Changes Sequence Editor in Finale to automate certain tasks. If you use Finale, you know how customizable it is. You also know that many of its powerful features are scattered across its tools, dialogues, and sub-dialogues, making certain tasks a chore to execute. Yari Williamson has created a suite of Finale plugins for Windows and Mac to make those features more user-friendly. There are so many great plugins that each one deserves its own mention. For now, we're going to drill down on one specific feature of one plugin, the Sequence Editor of JW Change, in which you can build a custom sequence that changes existing elements in the Finale document through a general user interface. You'll first want to download the plugin from Yari's site and install it using the general directions he provides. Once you've done that, you're ready to go. Even in JW Change, there's so much to explore even without using the sequence editor. What I'll first do is show you a series of individual tasks that I've accomplished with JW Change. As I do these tasks, behind the scenes, JW Change is remembering what I've done which will come in handy later when I want to build a sequence from them. Here, I have an example of some trumpet music for which I'd like to create drum cues. A series of tasks must be performed to get this to look just right. After I copy and paste the music into the drum set staff, I'll select it and open JW Change if it isn't already open and run each of these tasks individually. I'll first resize the notes to 75% in Note Entries, Resize. Next, I'll set the note heads to a single pitch, in this case, G5. Now, I'll flip the stems up in Stems, Direction. I'll set the position of the rests in rests vertical level with relative unchecked so that the rests moved to a fixed position just where I want them. For each of the slurs, hairpins, and expressions, I'll set the visibility to hide everywhere. Finally, if I'm concerned with playback, I'll go back to Note Entries and set Playback to Mute. This looks great, but I certainly don't want to manually run this series of tasks every time. Fortunately, this is where the Sequence Editor comes in. I'll open the Sequence Editor, and the first thing I'll do is click on Add Group. I'll name this my custom sequences, but you can call this anything you like and add a description. Next, I'll need to click on Add Sequence and name the specific sequence. In this case, Drum Set Cues. From here, I can select some or all of the tasks that I've previously run in the current session of Finale, and I can add them to the sequence. Here you can change their order, delete them, and even edit them right within the sequence editor if you so choose. Once that's done, I'll click Save, and my sequence is ready to go. So, let's see it in action. I'll delete this music here. First, I have to copy the music into the drum set staff, select it, and click Apply. 
so much easier. Now, for this specific case, I'll want to do two more things. First, I'll add slash notation to the drum part. Because the notes are in layer one, I'll modify my slash notation style to apply to layer two by going to the staff tool, define staff styles, alternate notation settings, and changing the style to apply to layer two. I've done this already in my document, but in your document, you'll probably have to change this. I'll also want to show the elements of the other layers here. I'll then apply the staff style. Finally, I'll go to Utilities, Change, Ties, and set the tie direction to Over. If you have a macro editor like Keyboard Maestro, you can program these three elements, your JW change sequence, slash notation staff style, and change ties into one macro. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it opens up a world of possibilities for you when you use Finale. Please take a moment to like this video and visit Scoring Notes for lots more news, tips, and reviews about music notation software and related technology. Thanks for watching.